Welcome to the Grade 12 Biology Endocrine System Series. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the hormones of the principal glands. If you have not already done so, um, please visit uh, the Apple Store and uh, Google Play and look for Grade 12 Biology, the Endocrine System Study App. It contains lectures, flashcards, and quizzes related to this unit. It is completely free and it is compatible for your iPhones and your Androids. Um, if you actually want more information pertaining to this app and other free study apps that uh, we are offering, please check out our website in the YouTube description below. Within the hypothalamus, the hormones that is most important for this course and for your exams is perhaps the ADH or in its full term it is called the antidiuretic hormone as well as oxytocin. So what is ADH? Well, ADH is used to increase the ability of water reabsorption in your kidneys. Oxytocin, on the other hand, stimulates contractions from the uterus during the birth of a baby. And it, another function is to stimulate milk production for breastfeeding. For the anterior pituitary gland, there are three hormones that are of the most importance for this course and perhaps for your exams, and that is the TSH and the ACTH. TSH, also called the thyroid stimulating hormone, stimulates thyroid in releasing thyroxine. ACTH or adrenocorticotropic hormone stimulates the release of hormones in the adrenal cortex. In the thyroid, the, uh, the most important hormone that we focused on is thyroxine. Thyroxine stimulates the increase of metabolism throughout the body. In the pancreas, there are two types of isolate cells, alpha cells and beta cells. The beta cells produces hormones called insulin, which stimulates the uptake of glucose from blood vessels in order to store it as glycogen. Alpha cells produce glucagon which has the opposite effect of insulin where it is for breaking down of glycogen to increase blood glucose. Within the adrenal glands there lies two sections the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla. The adrenal cortex produces cortisol for repairing tissues and aldosterone for increasing water reabsorption in the kidneys. The adrenal medulla produce epinephrine and norepinephrine. The function of these are generally related to behaviors during a fight or flight response. For example, pupil dilation. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. 
Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.